Hello everyone, and welcome to a video that actually has a voiceover for once. Uh, I found a good opportunity to record, so I've been spending a super long time editing this video, but I just wanted to have a voiceover ready so that you guys could kind of understand what's going on a bit better. I know I've been doing a lot of no commentary content with just insurgency and stuff. Um, I'm just trying to see what sticks uh, and what's fun to watch. I've been seeing some other creators do this zombie survival mod pack with like blood moons and all this crazy stuff and I wanted to try it out for myself. But anyways, what I'm doing here is just creating the basic supplies. I wanted to get stone as fast as I could to avoid the sun setting because the sun setting is very very bad. As of right now it's just going to be basic material gathering but I'll, I'll be back to explain a little bit more when I uh, start getting into it. I had played about two lives worth of this mod pack previously just to kind of feel it out and see what to expect. And I originally wanted to use lava, but after spawning here and seeing that little dirt patch, I realized it would be a great opportunity to create myself a moat and reduce the time it would take to actually get into a safe area. So I started filling everything in with dirt and clearing out dirt around the edges so that the zombies wouldn't have anything to stand on or dig through. The plan was to build myself kind of a, a cobblestone tube and hope that they wouldn't find a way to get through it. This idea got a little complicated later on. You'll see if you keep watching the video, but essentially what I'm gonna start doing is digging straight down through the cobblestone tube center, uh, and then creating myself a, a little living space. For right now, all I'm doing is starting the tube, trying to figure out the dimensions based on how many materials I had, because this really was a race against the clock. Once night hit, I would have no opportunities to get out or explore or really do anything else. So I, I had to get to safety as fast as possible, which is a little difficult and stressful, but you know, that's what's fun about this mod pack. Otherwise, what I'm doing on camera right now is just gathering some cobblestone to raise up the walls a little bit, which was very necessary if I wanted to keep the zombies out. As well as that, I would have to replace all of the dirt with cobblestone because I knew the zombies would absolutely decimate every soft or organic block that I left out for them. So I wanted to baby-proof this as much as possible and prevent accidents from happening, which is more difficult than you would expect, but that's just what I'm working on right now. I felt like a two block tall perimeter would be enough to keep the zombies out, so to collect cobblestone and kind of create a safer space, I started digging out around the tube from underneath. I had this idea from kind of like alpha beta Minecraft where the, the mobs would just rush you and you could create like a building with a one block gap so the mobs would just fall in and then you could just hit their feet uh, and then collect their supplies. I felt like doing that same type of format for this just in case the zombies did get in would be very useful just to try to create like a, a cushion if any accidents did happen.
Everything seemed to be coming along smoothly. There weren't any zombies breaking in. The holes in the floor were poked. Everything was good, so I started expanding a little bit. I was thinking I, I needed a place to grow some trees, but uh, that idea was halted pretty quickly. I saw the water rush in and I decided it would be a good time to start getting away. I had no idea what was happening or even what to do with myself, so I just started trying to dig as far away as I could and wait it out and see what would happen. It didn't seem like a lot was really going on though, so I just started digging and eventually came back out to check things out, but nothing happened, so... Uh, I guess they just managed to break one of the dirt blocks that I didn't replace. I guess everything's okay for now, but I definitely know that I need to be a little more careful in the future with this type of thing, because they are finding a way through. Seeing that zombie poking his head through and looking at me like that made me very glad that I went with this design for my cobblestone tube. It was a little unfortunate that I didn't block up the whole thing and that they were finding a way through, but it was working. It was functional. Uh, I definitely wanted to go back in there and patch it up as soon as I could, but I thought since it was the blood moon, then they were maybe going a little wacky and wild in there. So I... I just kept on digging. I was trying to make room for a tree because I was running low on wood and if I didn't have wood then I couldn't have pickaxes and if I didn't have pickaxes then I'd be screwed. I decided I was just going to ignore the zombies for now and work on clearing a space for my tree.
That was something I was really not ready for, but it's another reason I'm very, very glad that I did the tube in the water and that the zombies actually broke through and let the water fall, because without that, I would have gotten absolutely destroyed. It caught me way off guard, and it really, really turned out the best way it could have in any possible reality. But it kind of inspired me that I should probably start looking for water for myself, so that when I do fill in the dirt with cobblestone, I can create a little pad of water underneath, so if anything like that does happen again, there's a more controlled environment. As well as that, I just could grow some crops, um, get a farm started. But ultimately, I just needed one of those 2x2 two two water generator things. So, that's, that's what I'm doing. That zombie breaking in really scared me. I have no idea where it came from, even right now after editing it and looking back at it. So I went around and did a little bit of a security check and everything seemed fine, but my next best option was to let out some of my frustration with that zombie on the rest of them that have been piling up in this corner here. This explosion here seemed to be the cobblestone's last draw when it comes to handling the explosions and damage that has been going on. Uh, you see zombie parts flowing everywhere, it's not a good time. Luckily I was able to keep any major damage from happening, and I knew it was about time for me to start putting cobblestone up there because a lot of zombies were getting through and I, I wasn't liking that. So I took some time to dig stone with my bare hand. I didn't want to use my wooden pick, but I gave in. Didn't want it to fully break just in case there was some type of emergency. But after daytime hit, I started working on filling it in. I was trying to do it as quick as I could. As you can see, they really tore it up. I'm honestly pretty surprised the damage is as minimal as it is. Uh, I thought it would have been a lot worse, but it's definitely manageable.
It took a pretty insane amount of time for the tree to grow, but it finally grew. You can see it took me a little while to notice because I, I was really not expecting it, but I was so happy to see that it finally grew. I knew that the underground system was, was going to work and that it was definitely worth it to continue expanding and making room for more trees, which was exactly what I got right into. Just wanted to make as many pickaxes as I could, plus a chest because my inventory was getting pretty stuffed. Having iron tools was incredible, it felt so good to finally make some progress. After finishing up my third tree chamber, I felt like it was about time to increase the height of my tube. I was a little caught off guard by the amount of zombies outside, but again, I was so happy with my plan to create this tube. All I wanted to do next was increase the height, maybe build out over top of the zombies. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do at this point, but overall I was hoping to just increase general defense and take a little look at what was going on outside. Clearly it wasn't very safe, which is why I prefer to stay underground, but it's worth the risk to check it out. The only thing I really needed after this was more tree space and probably more materials. I didn't necessarily want it to become a skyblock setup. If I were to start building outside on the ground, I'd like to build a kind of castle setup and see how that would do, but I'm feeling pretty self-sufficient. Uh, otherwise, I could just throw in a little farm in there, uh, maybe put a farm up on top. I kind of decided it would be better to have more trees, but really all I'm doing is creating an umbrella over the zombies so I can have more room without having to dig around underground and running the risk of hitting a cave and getting swarmed by zombies or something like that. Going up and having the ability to go back and forth between underground and above ground to expand my umbrella definitely was my best bet for this situation.
After getting the trees planted up on the umbrella, I felt pretty much done. I, I guess I could look for diamonds or something, but I'm completely safe at this point, so it really would just be like a normal Minecraft playthrough with a bunch of zombies and caves just walking around. I started working on a little crop area, but I didn't get very far. I just kind of felt finished, so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it if you sat through the whole video. I really have spent so much time on this, so if you could leave a like or a subscribe or a comment, let me know what you think. What type of content you'd want to see in the future if you want me to continue this series i'm totally down i appreciate everything i get and i get excited when i just get 10 views and i had a lot of fun recording this and editing it so appreciate it guys and have a good one